Hello, this is Cinema 4D Magic here. I'm going to be showing you how to make the Transformers intro. For those of you who haven't seen this um, intro, I'll show it to you now. Okay, there it is. Um, now what you're going to want to do is head into Cinema 4D and start off with um, a MoGraph MoTeX. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is change the text itself. I'm going to use just Transformers as same as um, the intro. And then change your font to whatever font you like. I like using a font called Batman Forever Alternate. Um, this is the font I used for the intro itself. Just gonna middle it. It's a bit neater. Um, okay, so next thing you're gonna want to do is change the depth to about 80. I think it looks good, yep. Okay, actually, you could go a bit deeper than that. About 120. Okay, um, next thing you're going to want to do is go caps, fillet cap, uh, and then cap, fillet cap. And then what you're going to want to do for just quickly start lighting now is just use get a plane and drag it out so it's pretty big. Um, like that and then just make a texture that's just go in and click um, luminance and this will just make a pure white texture and then just drag it onto the plane and just drag this up way up uh, above the um, text and this will just add um, a nice glow on top and it'll look good when you have um, a reflective texture on. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is click Mo Text and go down to Make Editable. And what this is going to do is allow you to get all the letters um, individually. And what you're going to want to do is uh, select them all and drag them out of the Mo Text. And then you can just go ahead and delete that. And what this actually does is allows you to move the letters around, so you can just play with them like that, but that's not necessary for this tutorial. And then what you're going to want to do next is go to MoGraph and click Fracture Object. And what this is, is going to allow you to use something called a random effector. And because these letters aren't MoGraph, well they are, but they're not affected by the random factor when you use a plugin called Throusy. Um, the fracture object will group them together and allow you to do that. Um, but yeah, so you just drag all the letters underneath the fracture object and then click plugins, Throusy. And for those who don't have this plugin, um, I'll put a link in the description where you can download it. Um, so yeah, go into Thrasy, and what this is going to actually do is cut each individual letter into however many pieces you type in here. So I'm going to put about 10 pieces, and I'll just go ahead and break them. Okay, so when that's done you can just close the Thrasy box um, and now what you're going to want to do is see the red cross here just click that and it'll change it to a tick and this is where you can change your textures to whatever you want um, you can make it so there's a inner texture and then outer texture so when the pieces are flying around you can have two different colours um, but what I'm going to do is just make both of these the 
same. So you just click um, either one of these and uh, just change it down here and it'll change it for all of them in that row. Um, what I'm going to do is just make it dark grey colour with a bit of reflection. Turn off specular, um, change the brightness to about 40 and put Fresnel on and put that to about 40. So that's one of the textures done, and then for this, I'm just going to do the exact same thing color, dark gray, turn on specular, reflection, 40%, texture, Fresnel, 40%. Okay, so the textures are done now. So let me render it, it'll look um, nice with the plane above it. We'll add in some lights a bit later after we've done all the keyframing stuff. Okay, so next thing you want to do is click on the fracture object and go to MoGraph Effector and select Random Effector. And this is going to break all the pieces up individually and allow you to move them around using these um, uh, things here and what you want to do is select rotation as well so this will give you a nice effect as they're coming in you just rotate them around and put these all up to about a thousand okay and then with the position ones you're gonna wanna move them so all the pieces are out of the screen um yeah this may put all the pieces up really will make all these really really high but that's alright doesn't really matter okay so what you're gonna wanna do now is on a Mac you hold command, I'm not sure what it is on Windows you hold command and click on these boxes here just click on all of them and this will keyframe the position of all the pieces and now what you want to do is extend the timeline to around 200 frames, you can go longer if you want but just for this I'm going to do 200 and drag that bar out so it will extend the timeline to the 200 frames and then drag this to around 60 frames and then you can change all these down so you can start seeing the pieces coming in um, and making up the text but you don't want to do it all the way yet do it to around so you can see all the pieces Okay, and now go to these and then make it about, I don't know, 800. Doesn't have to be exact. Um, and what those ye these yellow boxes here mean is that these settings have been changed, so you need to hold command and keyframe them all and they'll save those settings and animate the pieces so as you can see the pieces are coming in and rotating as they come in and now what you're going to want to do is go to further up to around 140 and make all these l even lower so the text is pretty much all together, all the pieces all together pretty much and then adjust the rotation as well okay and then just hold command and keyframe all the settings again okay there we go as you can see the
the pieces all come together like that and then go about to 180 and just put them all to zero okay and then just keyframe them all again okay That will make the nice effect of all the pieces coming together and forming the transformers text. And now, the next thing you're going to want to do is put a light in front, just to light up the front a bit. Oops. Doesn't have to do it that well. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now um, I'm going to put in a camera, and you, what you can do is see if I zoom out, it doesn't actually look through the camera's lens. Click this little box here next to the camera, and that will make it so you're looking through the lens of the camera. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate this camera so that it zooms in slowly as the text is coming together. So I'm going to zoom it out to start with, just a little bit, and then what I'm going to do is keyframe it there, and then as the text comes together, I'll zoom it in about here, start zooming in, doesn't have to zoom in much, you just give it a nice effect and then just keyframe it there and as you can see when the you can see the camera just slowly moving in as the text comes together okay so don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video thanks for watching